So Tony, this week on the Honda Red Adventure, you said you wanted to talk about helmets. So I brought my, my best adventure helmet and uh, there you go, open that, face. Yeah, right? excellent. Perfect. So that's, what did you want to talk about in helmets? Well, that's a great option, especially for people that like to smoke or, you know, they don't want to take their helmet Do off. Do people to... smoke still? I know, it's hard to believe mixing yeah. activities with smoking, but um, that's a really convenient way to, to uh, you know, uh, blow your nose, clean your glasses. It's, uh, you know, the modular is a great helmet for uh, touring on the street. Yeah. But you might want some options, other options if you're going to ride off-road. So this is a pure off-road helmet uh, mm -hmm. setup. So you wear the goggles. Yep. So that that keeps the dust out of, the, out of your eyes because they have a foam gasket around them. Yeah. And that's the best option if you're riding in dusty con conditions. If you're riding a little bit more uh, gravel roads uh, as opposed to trails, mm -hmm. then I would go with uh, an option like the Shoei Hornet. Um, it's a helmet that's kind of combining both of the street helmet and the dirt helmet together. So you have the visor, yep. so you can tip it down if it's a sunny, uh, sunny weather, or you can tip it down if um, there's roost coming at you, some dust from uh, you know, cars in front of you, yeah. on a gravel road, and uh, has a shield. Uh, the option with this helmet, if you wanted to take the shield off, you could run a goggle setup if you wanted to. So this helmet could combine all three you know, helmets all in one. I like that. Yeah. That's a really nice uh, hybrid. It is. And um, the only thing is, if you're doing a lot of high speed on roads, if you're primarily 80% on road, mm -hmm. um, this, uh, I'll just show you the difference um, on the visor. You see on the one visor how much shorter it is on the pure dirt bike helmet. Yep, yep. And that's so that the wind doesn't catch it when you're out on doing high speed. Right. So um, any advice on when you're shopping for your new adventure helmet, is there any advice on um, fitment? Well, like any helmet, Dave, you want to make sure that it's a really snug fit because it's like buying shoes. When you first buy shoes, they're kind of stiff. And then when they break in, then they're like an old pair of slippers, right? right. So same with helmets, expect it to be uh, really snug and stiff and especially, you know, difficult to put on. Mm -hmm. But you want to feel pressure on your cheeks here. Mm -hmm. That'll keep the helmet from moving around when you're uh, riding over rough uh, terrain. Right. And then you also want to have um, a really snug fit around the crown of your head, right where your cap is fitting yeah. on your head about an inch above your eyebrows um, and just that really snug fit because uh, if the helmet can be sloppy on your head it's not going to absorb the impact if you should have one mm -hmm. and the job of a helmet is to absorb the impact and self-destruct right so if it can move then the impact is going to travel through to your head right so a nice snug fit when you're buying a brand new helmet and wear it around the house for a while you know watching you know motorcycle, motorcycle experience, experience. <laughs> Because uh, then you're going to break it in and then it'll be more, more comfortable when you go out for your ride. Right. Yeah. Some good advice. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. All right. Well, thanks for helping us out for shopping for our next adventure helmet. Oh, you're welcome.